Hey everyone, this is Rika from Artisan Gift Collection and Galleria Rika. Starting this video, I will be doing a series of me painting a family, a family portrait uh, for our living room. I think it'll be a three-part series because it does take a long time to make this painting and I wanted to show you my process of how I do it, how I, how I paint the faces, the background, and all of those details. So I would like to make it a three-part series so that I can put a lot of detail and I guess um, and so that I can talk about every step of the process of how I make my commission paintings. So this is the picture that I will be using as a reference. We, we took this family picture, I think, last year. So I'll use this as a reference for my painting. So hope you guys like it. Make sure to subscribe so you can see the rest of the series. Part two and part three will be coming in the next few weeks. So also like this video, turn on the notification bell, the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the parts of the series. Enjoy the video. So this is just me setting everything up, putting the mat, fixing the lights. Um, this whole thing actually took, I mean just this first part of the series, this took a couple days to do actually. It's very tiring. So what I'm doing right now is I took the tape and put it on the canvas to make a straight line because I'm going to be making a, a dark brown border to make it look like it's being framed. Oh, and I forgot to mention, every time I do a commission portrait, I kind of trace out the outline and sketch out some of the details using a projector so that I can get just like the basic shape. It honestly saves me a lot of time and it actually guides me as I paint. So now after I do the border, the next step is to do the underpaint. So for those who don't know what an underpaint is, that is kind of like the base color. So it's not going to be the main main color, it's just the base color of the whole surface of the painting so that you don't have any like white spots peeking through. So you know, just a basic black for the hair and like a skin tone for all the skin um, I'll also be doing blue for some of our shirts are blue and then brown for the background you might be wondering why I'm leaving sort of like a white border like close to the frame that's because I'm planning to do a white matting afterwards after I finish the entire painting um, just to give it that framed look again. For beginner artists who are just starting out with um, painting, don't worry too much about making mistakes especially with acrylic paint because it's so so easy just to fix it later to go over top with paint once again if you do make a mistake so I suggest you just Go with flow and just go for it. You'll be fine. Now we're getting to the face. So <laughs> first up, we have my brother Andre. He's at the very left, so I'm going to go from left to right. As you can see, what I did first was I put the dark areas first. And then I just put black over the lines that I needed to see better. This one, honestly, you're gonna have to do a lot of layers, like a lot of layers until you get the right skin tone and, the, and when you blended everything properly. So just a heads up, your artwork will look bad before it looks great. Don't worry if it starts to look really, really bad because it has to go through that in order for you to see what's wrong and what you have to fix and what shading doesn't seem right. So, you know, just, just a warning. 
another cool thing about painting is you can just change up whatever you want if you want to make your chin look smaller if you want to make your eyes look bigger you can do all that and actually for andre he wanted me to fix a bit of his like hair um, to make it look a little bit better because in the picture he didn't really like how it looked so that's what i did here you'll see later i mean if you compare it to the original picture then you could see the difference and it definitely does look better on the painting. Okay, wow, this part of the painting was kind of difficult because of the amount of folds on his shirt. But, um, yeah, I had to do a lot of trial and error and like fixing up some mistakes, but that's okay. By the way, if you guys want me to do like tutorials of how uh, how to like paint this specific thing, how to paint clothes, how to do like the skin tones, or how do you create shading on this, blah blah blah, then please comment down below, and I will make a video about that. Some of you might think that if it's black pants or like a black shirt, there's no need to do any shading because it's just black. But actually, there's still a lot of folds that you can see and they're gray and you can see them. So it's important for you to do these shadings um, to give more dimension to the entire painting. Now I'm finally getting to the arms and the hands. The important thing here is to start with the darkest color first, okay? It's important because you're gonna have to see where everything is, where the shadows are, and then once you do that, go like a little bit lighter at a time so that you can do the shading properly and blend everything together. Okay, now that Andre is done, let's move on to Joseph now. So I'll do a more detailed explanation here. So yes, I did the darkest first and then I went a little bit lighter and then even lighter. So some dark spots that you really have to consider are obviously under the neck, um, under the eyes, yes, under the eyes are actually dark. And you're gonna have to put it for it to actually look realistic under the nose, the nose bridge, um, under the lips as well, and the ears. If you want to be able to like blend better with acrylic paint, you can put a little bit of water and then use it to like make circular motions on the places you want to be uh, blend more. Or you could use like a middle sort of shade in order to tie the two shades together. Oh, another thing that you'll probably notice is that for the teeth, I don't paint every single tooth that we see. I only put like a white sort of base and then shade around that. Uh, why? Because sometimes, actually, when I first tried to do every single tooth, it didn't look that good. It, it was a bit too detailed and we don't really need to see every tooth. All you need is to shade it right in order to have like the, the right shape of the mouth and you're good to go. So this is actually where I'm ending off part one of this series. I only finished sort of like the base and then the, the two boys first. Um, it'll take me another couple of days to make the other people in the portrait. 
If you would like to order a commission portrait from me, then my gallery Rika Instagram will be in the description. You can message me there. And if you would like to see more videos on like how to paint with acrylic, how to paint commission portraits, then please comment down below and I will make videos for those. Thank you so much for watching. See you in part two.